All right, um, let's do this one again then. We failed this mission last time. Now, Keenine amongst you will notice that my clothes have changed and probably my voice as well. Um, yeah, we failed our last attempt at this mission. We're doing the Zerg campaign still. We're on, what are we on? Yeah, number eight, eye for an eye. Um, yeah, I was, I was busy for a long time and I've been quite ill recently. Um, so if I start coughing and sneezing and sniffling, I apologise. But I've sort of been putting off redoing this mission for, well, for various reasons now. And I'm starting to fall behind, um, so yeah, we need to get it, get it done. So, we're going to do eye for an eye. Like I say, I failed it last time, because I didn't really get what was going on. Now I do get it, so I think we're going to be able to do it. Um, but I think it's going to be a difficult one. This may end up being quite a long mission. So, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's get on with it. Alright. I'm going to remind myself of the mission parameters. Hold. My long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Seratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Seribrit, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. Okay, so yeah, destroy the Protoss bases, let no Dark Templar escape, Kerrigan must survive. Um, that's what we got as last time, I let one of the Dark Templar escape. Um, so, yeah, yeah, let's let's get on with it then. Do, 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 here we go. Uh, Alright, yep, I remember now, so yeah, we've got these. Oh, oh yeah, I can use the Nidus Canals, lovely. Uh, yeah, so I've got three bases on the go here. Um, yeah, there's one, and essentially, you've got these beacons, and if the Dark Templar make it past these beacons, you fail the fucking mission. So, I must guard those at all costs. Now, what I'm going to do first thing is reinforce them by sending them through... You know, we'll send one that way, one that way, send you through there, and you through there. You can get on with gathering, and I'll have some more drones. That can't turn into anything yet. Right. Do 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 do. Yeah. Should have enough there, right. Let's turn these into stuff. We'll have a spawning pool and we'll put it there. Sorted that out. And I want um, more fucking minerals. There's no minerals down at these other bases, they just sort of exist. Which is a bit crap, but whatever. Oh, there goes a Dark Templar. Get it! Get it! That's how it's done. 
you go and turn into something useful. There we go. That I keep running out of minerals, and it just makes the game so slow. And this level's especially frustrating because I need forces, I need military units to guard all these three things. But I also need to get this base going and gathering units, so I'm sort of torn between those two things. You know, do I make more drones so I get more resources faster, or do I spend it on hydrolisks, zerglings, or whatever I need, so I know these are properly guarded, but then run the risk of either running out or not being able to make them fast enough because I'm not gathering the resources fast enough. Drones from on the gathering front. Let's make a few more for buildings. Oh, I can't build down here either. Otherwise, I just fill this zone with defensive structures and just let them just fucking kill all that came near. But I, I don't think I can. Can I? No, you can't build down here. Which is a shame, because I'd really like to. Yeah, so I've got to keep putting forces down there. Uh, right. Hydralisk den. About there. You turn to an A simulator. One more drone for gathering gas. Of course you fucking do. What is it now? A bold move. All right. On my way. All right. So some reserve ones. There we go. Like faster zergling movement once it's ready. You two get gathering. There we go. Turn this into a layer so I can start making more units. I want to make flyer units. Oh, come on. Get 250, you're up about it. There we go. Upgrade that. I'm listening. Oh, there comes a, a geezer. He's just going to walk past. Fine. Turn that into something useful as well. Let's research here. Attacks. 
hydralisks, faster hydralisks movement, well that will be handy. Right, I'm going to need to reinforce that soon. So let's do... Uh, I need more hydralisks. Gather your twats. Require more minerals. Uh, I can do it with probably twice as many workers on those resources. Uh, no, that'll do. Again, it's that old dilemma do I start spending money on more drones to gather with the resources faster? Force that lot there. Send them that way. Make another one of those. to there as well. stuff. Let's turn... Let's make drones so I can make more buildings. Do do do. And decrease the attack range so I can start attacking sooner. And I need to upgrade to a hive which I can't do yet. I will however increase the sight range on my overlords. Got the resources that is. Come on, gather it up, guys. There we go. Uh, right, oh, we've done all that. Yeah, well, oh, I ain't got the fucking resources for it. Ugh. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Gonna make more drones. Do 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 do. Hello. That. 
this one on the gathering front as well. movement while we're at it. I will have another drone because I'm going to need more buildings soon. Of course we do. Why did I ever think differently? Lisks. And still can't build shit. Fucking gas I'm waiting on them. Take it. Now let's see if that mutilisk Well, this is a problem. Yeah, okay, so I should probably put some air defences in them. Uh, huh. I'm going to take that into a hive. You can go on, I don't know, turn into something useful. Oh, it works 
expecting that, were you? I found the one of the locations. That's pretty sweet. Move that up there out of the way. Get some more mutalisks. Uh, that's slowly upgrading to a hive. Things require gas, which I'm having trouble getting. This is getting better now. Right, let's have some more. Oh, of course we fucking do. All I could do with taking that one. There's gas on there. Come on, a bit more gas, guys. I want a queen. And the reason I want a queen is I can do that spawn broodling, just instant kill any units that try and get past my checkpoints. That would be cool. It does use a lot of energy, so it can only do it once in a while, but yeah, quite a useful thing to have. Right. So just to reinforce that bit. lurker option. That's a bit disappointing. Spot some zergons. <sighs> do do do. <laughs> Spawn broodlings. Now that is a useful thing to have. Yeah. 
Right. Oh, there comes another one. Even better. Uh, right. See it there, down there. Those need bringing up to here. And then there should be, yep, to there, which can go to there. Lovely. Oh. Got some 300 gas. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking overlord to spawn. There we go. Move up there. Right, I want to go out and parasite something over here. A parasite's also useful because then you can sort of keep a keep an eye on what your enemies are doing. Got to be quick though. thinking is we use the Scourge and the Mutalist to take out the Scouts and then I can use the Guardian to take out the three the Pylon, the Cannon and the Dragoon and then we've got a nice lovely source of minerals and gas right there which is precisely what we need so yeah let's do that then Some of them out. Definitely going to manage to take that thing out now. Boom. Done. Right. And we'll have the Guardian move on the pylon. On the cannon, rather. That gives us more minerals, more gas. 
uh, more units and yeah, we can actually make some progress. I feel like up till this point, all I've been doing is sort of making units and defending, making sure that we don't fucking fail the mission again. Let's take down this cannon. There we go. Actually, going to get up here. It feels like it's a bit of an island. Oh no, we can walk up there. Sweet. All right, drones, if you please. a hatchery right there and you will turn into an assimilator right there and you can just go over there send that thing over that way and then we'll Make some more of those. Oh. Well, that's a bit shite. Transporting for overlords. I'm just going to transport them straight over. Oh, that one didn't make it through. Well, that sucks.
All right, okay, let's get in there slowly. It's all this shit come towards me. So it's done. Flyer attacks. Oh, there's a bit in the way of resources there, but not much. I'll put there. I want a defiler mold, which can go there. And we'll send this one over to our new little colony thing as well. Fucking hell. It was too good to be true.
Go on, fuck him up. More of those, and you know what? Come on. Oh, of course, we fucking do. Right, there we go, and. That's why it's taking so fucking long. is not good.
really? I suppose at least I know where the fucking base is now. Why are they going that way? Should go there and then just go back to there. Oh, I don't know what it's fucking doing. It's trying to go back to the original hive. That's fucking annoying. There you go turn into that. Okay, okay. Alright, mineral production starting to get back to where it's supposed to be. I haven't had any more Templars trying to escape, which is nice. Gonna, still gonna destroy all this shit. Alright, uh, okay. Alright, good there, back up to some sort of strength. And I think that one is my weakness now. Defensive stuff down as well. That's what we like.
drive it off. It's more like it. Neil destroyed my Nidus canal. Would have been a fucking disaster and then some. Alright. Alright, we're back gathering reasonable amounts of resources. Right, I need to start thinking about going on the offensive. Otherwise I'm just going to be here all fucking night. What I'm thinking is, if I can make enough guardians, I can start just picking off bits of their base. Now I will still need some mutilists to go with me for air defence, but... We don't look to have that many scouts. And other air units. Alright, and let's make those into guardians. And then we might go and do a little bit of attacking, you know. Fucking overlords. overlords. Don't have overlord money right now. Hell, how do you lock get there? Something else I can destroy. You go up there. Do some more of those. Uh, okay, more overlords. Those were the fucking overlords. Celebrate. They've fallen out of place. 
separate. Your overlords are in power. forces are under attack. He's pretend that they remain there. Must have had an overlord out of place. Seems okay now. Alright. now, which is good. Let's take out this other pylon, shall we? Go get him. There we go. Ah, oh, they got one of them. Go on, fucking get him. Getting there. This is going to be a long fucking mission. But I tell you what, I haven't seen yet. Is any of them um, like workers? Oh, it's about too soon. There they are. Not that many of them, though. Take out that fucking Nexus. This is how you take them out again. Did 
That's how they get you. Go on, fucking get him. Anymore. I plan on plan on annihilating this silly base. Sleep. 
And, you know, we'll have some more mutalisks there as well. Fantastic. Right, and I want to put one there. And then I want another one over there. don't get a lot of wankers coming along and destroying my nice new bases. Something tells me I probably will have a lot of wankers coming along and destroying my nice new bases. But it also seems that once they've attacked once they sort of give up, so it's not the end of the world. Is looking okay. Oh, there's okay, a lot there. If anything, that one's the weaker one. Hmm. Oh, the minerals are starting to run low. Right, that's that done. Yeah, lovely. as well. He's gonna fly those over. Level of cows a lot there. Right. Has it got the energy for the plague thing yet? Oh it hasn't. Ugh. Well, that's a bit sucky. down over there. Uh, of course I do. Yeah, research the burrow ability. Yeah. Oh, you'll have more energy. 
the German defiler. Um, anyway, yeah, I was explaining what I was trying to do. So, let's set those going into something useful. There we go. And ooh, I'll fly a. Doobie doo doo. So I can turn into something useful. Like that. Uh, yeah, so the Defiler has this ability. It's really fucking annoying when it's used on you. But you can use this Plague. And what it does is it reduces the target's hit points down to one unless they're repaired, because the Terran units can repair. But Protoss units can't be repaired. Um, and it, it just really softens your targets up, like, instantly. It's great. Oh, look, there's one of those things there. Just chilling out there. Mm -mm. So, what I'm going to do is move it into position and I'm going to use it on these things here. And the reason I research Burrow is once it's set its plague going, which is some sort of red goo, I can then just tell, tell it to Burrow, and unless they have a detector in the area, it'll just sit there underground. Regenerate its energy and then I can move it into position and do it again. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to use the plague option on that pylon. It should get those three buildings and reduce them to minimal hit points. See? The shields aren't affected, but they will go down to one hit point each now. How cool is that? And what we'll do is we'll position it over here. And then when it uh, when it's got its energy back up, we'll do it to those as well. And then we should have a much easier job of attacking them. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many have I got over here? to be turning into spore colonies. Creep colonies, rather. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, it doesn't take them all right down, but... Yeah, they're going to be a lot easier to destroy, and then we'll do the same to those as well. I don't want to take out that scout just yet. with the f 
fucking overlords. We'll use it to work on that. And they're all gathering away nicely. So are those. They'll just keep plucking away at that, which is fine. That's almost back up to 150 energy. Which is what we want. We have a little probe patrolling there. Whatever. I'm struggling for now rather than guess. It's been the other way around up till now. Uh, right. Okay. Excellent. On the barrel. Thing. Never mind. Oh, no way. I must have seen it. Ah, oh, they got it. Never mind. We'll make another one. thinking it's time to go on the offensive again. So I want to start building up my forces. We're going to do the same again. Um, yeah, guardians and uh, mutalisks to defend them. Um, oh, we've got all these just sitting here as well. Actually, we'll fly them over this way. They might be useful later. any attacks on these like three guarding forces for a while now which is good I suppose What I could do is use a queen to infest it with a parasite, and then I'll be able to see what it sees. The more of those I have going around, the more I know what to look for. Oh, that's got a parasite in it. And it's revealed all this for me. So yeah, I'll go and parasite that thing. Come on. 
little bit more than that. Come on, get your energy up, Queenie. Guardians. Oh, the fucking overlords. Well, that does sometimes happen. You do sometimes end up killing the units that you've hit with a parasite and then you're kind of buggered. Well, you're not buggered, not really happens, but it's not the point. He hits it with a parasite for a fucking reason. There we go. We're gonna go and plague these units. single hit point each. Well, fuck. Never mind. Uh, let's, let's make one here. ready to go. Let's wait for these three mutalisks to... Yeah. Right, let's bring this force over that way. Do some scouting around with this queen as well, see if we can launch another parasite. So I can see what's going on. Oh. There's things there. Oh, okay. So we'll come back to that idea. Alright. When these guardians catch up, we'll do a bit more base killing, shall we? how easily these guardians take down these buildings that are basically half destroyed anyway. So once the shields are down it just blows it up. So it has 
next to no hit points left. any sort of fight. thing out. Destroy their shuttles. that dragoon gone. It needs taken out. That's what we like. Bring the queen forward. Bring the defiler up as well. We can use plague. There. Let's move. Let's move the rest of it up as well. 
Alright, we are getting there. So I'm just going to let the defiler come down, soften up the first few targets. Fucking hate those storms that they do. Uh, take out the next pylon. into position and what we're gonna do is we can use plague on the nexus hopefully it'll get close enough uh, well don't matter Doing anything really in the way of resistance now, so Let's start taking out these. No, oh, no, you can fuck off. Wiping them out now. Look at that building. Hit that one. Yes. Hmm. 
You know what? I'm not seeing any like air defense either. Finish wiping them out. Oh, so all I've got to do is destroy the two nexes. I didn't need to destroy everything else. I feel cheated. All right, well, we've done it. How long did that take? Hour and 35 minutes. That was longer than I expected, but I didn't want to fail it again because um, that would have been a bit of a disaster. Um, right, I think that might be it. I'm sure there's only eight campaigns per. Um, the eight missions per campaign, rather. So, hmm, all right. Yeah, look. Top scores in fucking all of them. Yeah, they weren't really gathering much in the way of resources, were they? Um, lost a lot of units, but they lost more. Good. Structures. Seven structures lost? Oh, yeah, they destroyed my little base thing, didn't they? Let's see, I would have destroyed all of them if it had let me. Yeah, whatever. Resources spent 35,000. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's check see if there's a cut scene. But I think we're going to be straight into the next mission, if there is one. I think this is the end of the Zerg campaign. Show one to Protoss now. Let's have a look. Border World Char. Those are guardians. Dasa die in the dark, Templar zone will survive Kogan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining protesters, begins to scour the burning vessels of Char for elusive prey. Let's hunt. It's long in a hated Protoss homeworld of Aya. Sweet. Sweet, so I think that puts us onto the Protoss one now. Oh what no, the invasion of Aya. Okay, that is the next mission. Alright, right, we'll do that next time then. Um sweet, so Yeah, the invasion of Aya, which is gonna be it's just gonna be a massive fucking fight. I'm trying to remember. Oh, there was ten in there. See, I thought there was only gonna be eight, because the first few of these were tutorials, but maybe there is ten per thing. You see, it's not unlocking the Protoss campaign yet, so... Yeah. Alright, looks like we've got... 9 and 10 left to do on the Zerg campaign, and then we're on to the Protoss. Yeah, alright. Oh, fuck, didn't mean to press that. Oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Alright, yep, we'll leave it there, and I shall see you next week. For now, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.